Former First Lady Nancy Reagan recently passed away, which is of course a tragedy. And uh, in response, some on the right, the crazier members of the right, have decided to make it into a bigger tragedy, not because of the death, but because President Barack Obama will not be attending her funeral in just a couple of days because he already had an engagement that he was scheduled to go to. And so uh, crazy number one in this case will be Michelle Bachman, who said, self-centered classless Obama misses another funeral of a high-profile conservative. Because of course he also did not personally attend uh, the funeral of Antonin Scalia, although I believe jo Joe Biden did. Mm -hmm. um, and Michelle Obama is going to uh, Nancy Reagan's funeral as yes. well. Um, now, the reason that he's not going to be there is that during that time he's going to be headlining uh, South by Southwest, which is an arts and technology festival. I know that one or both of those things are not important to most conservatives, uh, but to the country at large it is important, and it's also important that he, with his packed schedule, co does the things that he's committed to do. By the way, I'll also be at South by Southwest. Sorry, Nancy Reagan, I wanted to attend the funeral. But I, I've got commitments as well. So that's an unnecessary provocation. Okay, yeah, I know, right? Uh, come watch me uh, speak at South by Southwest, Saturday, March 12, 12.30 p.m., Hilton Austin Downtown, Salon F. Okay, I'll see you guys there. Huh. Oh, nice little plug in the middle of this story. Are you okay. going to see Obama's thing? His um, keynote? He, he's no, going to no. keynote and Michelle Obama is going to give the a keynote. The question isn't whether I'm going to go see Obama's speech. The question is whether he's going to come see my speech. <laughs> That's a qu that is a question. I think I have an answer. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I, I know yeah. the answer. Now, okay. uh, to be fair, not all on the right are angry about this, and we've chosen Michelle Obama, or Michelle, Michelle Bachman. I apologize. It's a ridiculous slip-up that should never happen again. Uh, to stand in for them, but the your usual Levins and Limbaugh's were all frustrated okay. about it as well. Although, as should be obvious, if he had had the audacity, the temerity to show up to it, they would have had a big problem with that as well. Uh, so I want to give some credit to uh, Marco Rubio, uh, who's, who does not seem to think it's the end of the world, as you're going to hear. Well, I don't know what else the president has going on. Being president is an important job, and I would have liked for him to have gone. I'm glad the first lady's going. I would have gone, obviously, but I don't know what – I want to be fair. I'm, I'm as anti-Obama's policies as anyone running for president, but I don't know exactly what it is he has going on at the same time that, that didn't allow him to do it. But all things being equal, I would love for him to have gone. He's got his own plane. I would have gone. You know you can still go. Yeah, you can still go. <laughs> I, I, why wouldn't he at this point? He, no, he needs to go to Florida and fruitlessly try to campaign there. Uh, so that's one of the Republican uh, contenders for the nomination. But he, uh, there's another who, who didn't, isn't going necessarily to the funeral, but he has spoken previously about Nancy Reagan. Uh, that is Donald Trump, who back in 2004 said she was never very beautiful. Oh. Unbelievable. Now, the only thing that uh, saves it a little bit is that I, when I saw the headline, I thought he said it today. And I was like, no, <laughs> don't say it. I There's that. still time. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Apparently, he said it back in 04. But it's such a Trump thing to say. Why would say that about a first lady when she's. Because, at the, be, we it, know why. Because it's amazing to me that any women on the Republican side vote for him. He doesn't think women have any value other than their looks. And he has been he has been consistent about very little in his life, but that is one thing. Consistent two things. One, he likes saying the word Trump, and two, he thinks women are only valuable for their looks. At the time, I think she was about 78 years old. I know. It doesn't matter to him. Like you go back to those old appearances on um the shock job. Why can't I remember his name? Howard Stern. Howard Stern, sorry. I'm an Opie and Jimmy guy. Uh, but anyway, Howard Stern, Ooh. and uh, he just goes down the line of every woman to evaluating their looks. And I understand, for most guys, if you ask us, we have an opinion of any individual's looks. That doesn't mean that we as a high-profile individual need to go out there and make that what our brand is, is judging elderly women's looks. And by the way, on Nancy Reagan, he said that. On Ronald Reagan, he spent years uh, talking about how awesome Ronald Reagan was. And then flipped around and said, you know, I was the only one that saw that there was really nothing there. Behind that smile. He, there's nothing to him aside from a bit of misogyny. Now, to be fair, this stuff was said off the record with Liz Smith. We just got the tapes, uh, in the press did, uh, of what he said back in 2004. Mm -hmm. About Reagan, though, I thought it was a little instructive. He, he basically complimented him for being such a great showman. Yeah. And so you get a sense from ba back then that... He thinks, oh, all you got to do is be a showman, you know, yeah. do a couple of magic tricks, and next thing you know, you could be president. Mm -hmm. Kind of telling.